Hey guys, so it's time to do a 10 hour coffee freeze test with the Galaxy Note 7 phone here. Uh, so I wanted to see if it is a durable phone here or not. Uh, so we're going to freeze it for 10 hours and see, uh, you know, the performance here. Uh, we do have the Stay Alive app on as well, so we can see, you know, if uh, the screen is still on when we get it out. Uh, I think we've charged it to 85% and it didn't explode, so lucky me. And we're going to start this off here. First we need to make the actual coffee. Uh, so we do have some milk first. And some people like to put the coffee in their mug first, but I'm personally someone who puts the uh, milk in first. That's the correct way to do it, if you ask me. There is no other way, so let's get this cap off and let's pour the milk in. That's nice. And finally, we do have the coffee, 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 and this is the best coffee you can get like the instant stuff <laughs> there is better coffee obviously but for those who was on the go this is what we like here and that's in there and ideally we do also want a sweetener here because sugar is bad for you And finally, we have the water, the hot water. So this, you can see, makes for delicious coffee. Yeah. I can already smell the caffeine. Look at that. That is nice. I want to drink it. I know you do too. So I'm sure the Note 7 is getting a kick here, but we're now going to freeze the device for, as I said, 10 hours. You know, I think that's a good length of time here to check the performance of the durability. So let's move to the freezer. And I swear it's making me high, this stuff. Don't want to spill it on my floor though. Delicious, if you ask me. Very delicious. Get in there. So we do have a, a different freezer today. Still haven't defrosted my main one. But this one should be a little bit more powerful, actually. So, let's... Uh, See if I can do this with one hand. Oh, it stinks of coffee. So you can see that's in there now. And we're going to shut that up. And we're going to start the clock. So we're going to see, you know, if my house burns down, then I'm blaming it on YouTube. But see you in 10 hours. Rise and shine, everyone. Rise and shine. So we are uh, in the next day here. And the alarm's just about to go off. Which is nice. Uh, if I sound a bit croaky, it's because I've just gotten up. So uh, do excuse me, I haven't had my coffee yet. Uh, but the Note 7 certainly has had its coffee. And we're going to check out you know what to expect here from this freeze test which as you can see is looking very frosty shut the freezer and let's go to the table 
have a look at what we got here. So as you can see, we do have a uh, kind of lump in the middle. So that is quite an interesting development here. I don't think I've ever seen frozen coffee before, uh, but I have obviously heard of iced coffee. So uh, we're going to try and get it out now and see you know, if we can crack into it without actually cracking it. So I think we're going to need some hot water that we do have and we're going to pour it on. Wow, so that actually kind of melts really quickly. But you can see still kind of, uh, shall we say, frozen. I might need to drain some of this water, actually. This is what happens when you use a small pot so let's just drain some of it out. It smells nice. Very nice. Let's have some more warm water. You can probably hear I've got the kettle on already. I don't think this is going to be very easy to get into. I mean, seriously, this is really frozen in there. I think we're going to need to drain it again. Oh. Smells like I'm running a, a barista here. But I think we're getting there, slowly but surely. <laughs> and we should have reached it. And hopefully it won't explode in my face. I bet that's what some of you are wishing will happen. I mean, seriously, don't try this at home. <laughs> it's a little bit kind of crazy. Oh, I'm seeing blue. I'm seeing blue. Drainage. Oh, I can see it at last. I can see it. Can we get it out? Ugh, frozen coffee. It's going everywhere. Oh, oh, that's cold. That is cold. Wow. So you can see we finally rescued it. Oh, and we do have the screen on, which is good. It's nice. So it looks like we have low battery. Uh, so I might need to go get this cleaned up a little bit. Uh, and then we can have a look at the device, see if everything works. So we're back, and as you can see, Note 7's had a nice shower here, and look at that, back to normal. Fantastic performance here. I thought I'd never actually see it again, to be honest, at one point. Just dry it off a little bit. Nice. So obviously uh, we want to see if everything's working, like, for example, the charging and stuff so we're going to check that out here once we've just given it a quick dry down and 
and let's get the charger. So, 10 hours, that's quite a good time, if I must say so myself. Usually I only do it for six hours. Maybe the next one will be 24 hours. Nice. So we do have charging, as you can see. Whoa, there goes the coffee. I'm going to need some of that in a bit to wake me up. Let's have a look at the speakers here. Uh, so let's go to, whoa, yeah. Let's, let's play a game. Let's play Pokemon Go. Mm, a little bit muted, but still very serviceable. Better than the S7 Edge when I did a test on that, I think. So that's also pretty nice here. And it still seems to be pretty fast. The Samsung logo seems to be kind of uh, brownish though now. So... Yeah, <laughs> maybe it take a while for the speakers to come back to life, uh, but you can see here, S Pen works, bit of coffee in there though it looks like, as you can see, and the camera, the camera a bit hazy, maybe because that's the lens Obviously it's wet here, so we'll check that out later, but it looks okay here. Uh, so very impressive stuff here from the Note 7, and I'm definitely looking forward to doing some other tests. Uh, I will keep an eye on it, you know, report back if there's any issues, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, found it uh, interesting, a little bit different, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.